Welcome back to Work in the Verse. Thor here, and today we're diving into the world of VR prescription lenses. You're probably contemplating whether it's worth upgrading your Quest headset with these specialized lenses. First up, let's talk vendors. We've got the heavy hitters from Meta's partner Zenny, VR Rock, VR Wave, and Reloptics. Each has its unique quirks and offerings, and we'll get into them one by one. Since I'm not an expert in lenses, even though I've worn glasses for a long time, you can get a deeper dive into the technical details by checking out Dr. I Guy's channel. He's got the Quest 2 lenses covered with the Quest 3 review on the horizon. Now, before you go lens shopping, hit up your eye doctor for that crucial eye exam. Make sure to snag your prescription and check to see if they provided your IPD before you leave the office. Let them know that you're going to be ordering prescription lenses for your headset and that it would be helpful to have both IPD for your left and right eyes. Don't be surprised if they ask you lots of questions about VR. With prescription in hand, let's check out some of these vendors starting with Zenny. Zenny kicks off the lineup with a budget-friendly $49, but watch out for the simplicity if you have a complicated lens prescription. You'll also find that they don't offer any anti-reflective coating here, and if you're looking for magnetic lenses, you'll be out of luck as they only offer a plastic slip-on. Careful with this vendor as several users reported quality issues. Hopefully, they'll get them resolved soon. Next up is Reloptics. Similar to Zenny, no matter your prescription, the cost stays the same and is a bit more at $76. At the time of this video, they have a promotion going on, so expect the price to go up just a bit after Christmas. This is where the similarities end between all of the vendors. Reloptics has the most flexibility when it comes to matching your prescription left and right IPD values, ad power, and prism values for more complicated prescriptions. The only type of lenses they offer are magnetic, which requires you to insert a ring and then place the magnetic lens over the attachment ring. They also include blue light filtering and an anti-reflective coating. Of the two, the anti-reflective coating is the most important as it reduces glare that may come about when in VR. VR Rock comes in next for price with a similar configuration to the others at $84, but you'll find that the more customization you enter, the more expensive they get. But with that being said, you get to control more of the price. If you're not planning on sharing your headset with others, the plastic base is a good way of saving $30, and you can decide how important anti-blue light is to knock off another $5. Be aware though that the more complicated your base prescription, the more expensive the cost becomes. And the last vendor, which seems to have been mentioned on more YouTube channels than anyone else, is VR Wave and was the most expensive of the four I looked at and came in at $96. Your price will vary most depending on the complexity of your prescription. Starting a price of $16 is a tease, and of the four vendors, they're the ones that play hardball, even giving you a call if you abandon your cart. I ended up going with Reloptics, and they've stepped up their game since I purchased their Quest 2 solution. A handwritten thank you note? Classy move. The box, the cloth, and the case is like the VIP treatment for your lenses. The case might be a bit much as some of the other vendors have a more compact solution, but you have to differentiate where you can't. Every vendor has their own installation process, but for the most part, it's the same. Insert the base ring and then attach the lenses. For whatever reason, I always seem to struggle when making a physical change, but so far this year with the Quest 3, all has been easy from the Bobo VR M3 head strap to now with the Reloptics lenses. Although, as you see here, I didn't quite get in the left base correctly the first time, but it was easy to get it right the second time. The improvement over the lens design from the Quest 2 comes down to how they designed the lens to stay in place. By creating a notch and having pins on the lens, you put them in and they stay there. For the Quest 2 iteration, you could easily rotate the lens and you weren't 100% confident that they wouldn't shift. Not a game breaker by any means, and I still think the Quest 2 design works. I also like the fact that I don't have to have the glass spacer at the furthest setting anymore. I went to the closest, but I think I'm going to have to go out one notch as it feels like my eyelashes touch the lenses from time to time. Is getting prescription lenses worth it? Absolutely. I've been going back and forth between the Quest 3 and the Quest 2, and here's where the Quest 3 shines, and that's because of the improved pass-through. I don't have to take off the headset nearly as much when I need to interact with the real world. When taking off the Quest 2, it's hard to interact with the real world, whether it be getting information from my computer screen, interacting with others, or trying to find where I place my glasses. And to close out the video, 
Would I try another VR lens company? Reloptics has my loyalty with their informative updates, unbeatable customization, and hassle-free experience. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If this journey through VR lenses was helpful, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, and until our next virtual adventure, keep working the verse.